Hey all, Hiba here and I welcome back to this video here on Sea of Conquest where I tell you how to smuggle and make good gold while doing it. So don't forget to subscribe, right? There'll be lots of Sea of Conquest videos coming and uh, you know, it's a good game. So uh, what you gotta look for is a port that has a particular shop in it. And uh, the best way of doing that is to go onto the big map and just have a look. And what you're looking for is what's called the black market. So it's a little bag with a uh, skull on it, like I circled here on the screen. Uh, that indicates that this particular port has a black market shop. So uh, what you obviously got to do is to find at least one port with the black market. But uh, in this video here, I'll show you how you can kind of take advantage of that by going back and forth between two ports, each having a black market. Now this whole thing runs on a currency, which I'll get into in a minute so it doesn't mean that you can really uh, farm this as such because there is a limit to how many times you can do this but it is good money and it's fast right so uh, go to the black market and uh, they sell something up there in the corner in this case you see steel and you see when you uh, buy it you don't pay with gold you pay with what's called a smuggling warrant and this is how you can't really farm this because smuggling warrants are in short supply see I have 158 of them and uh, once I purchase this uh, full cargo hold here, see I pay no gold, I keep that in mind, this only costs warrant, I'm down to 114, right? So I can do this about three times and uh, that's about it. So that's how smuggling works. You don't actually spend gold on it, which is handy if you don't have a lot of gold, but you will make a lot of gold doing this. And like I said earlier, it doesn't take long and it's fairly simple it doesn't really involve anything other than just you know going from port to port and uh, of course the further you go away from a port the more money you make but uh, I'm not actually going very far here I'm just going to a port that's about two minutes away two and a half minutes away uh, because that's the one of the only other ports <laughs> on this map here that has a um, another black market and uh, that's the point here because that means I can go from one black market to another black market and uh, you know sell as soon as I get to the, the destination port and then I can buy again from the black market without wasting time. So once you get to the destination port I tend to uh, not go to the black market to sell I just sell it at the trading venue I get better prices I don't really know why but uh, that's the way it is there could be a reason for this but I haven't discovered it yet. <laughs> so I sell it here for 114,000 gold for three minutes of work, right? So that's a, that's a really good <laughs> profit. And then I go straight into the black market at the destination port, and this time I buy diamonds again. And as you can see, I pay with warrants once again. And uh, then I go back to the port I just came from, where of course I'm going to sell my diamonds to the trading post there. And uh, I just go back and forth like this until I run out of warrants, really. And uh, I'm doing this for about 10 minutes. Uh, for this little like video here and I make nearly 400,000 gold doing this so uh, it's definitely worth it and it's an easy and risk-free way of making money if you are you know in a tight spot in the game uh, so highly recommend it and uh, if you got other tips or tricks or something that I've missed in this video here please let me know in the comments so uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you out there